everyone. This is Maggie, back with another great fall craft for you. We are going to use a wine bottle today to make a scarecrow. So whatever you might have at home or um, you can get one at the craft store. I grabbed this at Michael's, just as long as it's clear. Um, and you're going to need some black and orange paint, some burlap, brushes of course, any color ribbon you'd like. It doesn't have to be fall themed. It could be anything. It's going to go on the hat and maybe a flower. And you're going to need some raffia or straw. And you can get all these supplies at the craft store. Um, many of them you can also get at Dollar Tree, wherever you happen to be shopping. So the first thing we're going to do is fill our bottle here. You will probably need a lot of this, so I did go ahead and pick up a rather large bag. Be prepared, it's going to get messy, but it's okay, just clean up at the end. Okay. I'm just cutting them in a slightly shorter pieces um, just to make it easier. You don't have to cut it, um, but it is a little difficult to get apart. And you're just going to stick it into your bottle. Just like so. And you're going to do this until your bottle is looking pretty full. It doesn't actually have to be stuffed, but you just want to see um, your raffia. You don't want to see any empty spaces. All right, so fill that up. So now that it's full, you don't have to get the whole neck of the bottle full because we're going to hide it. Um, so I'm just going to stick this in here. You can glue this in if you want to. I'm not going to just in case I want to change out what's in it um, or add more later. I can still do that.
And now you want to take your burlap and just sort of play with it to start. See how, how you want to do your hat. I kind of want to put a brim around him, so I'm going to cut off a little piece here and see. So that's going to be my, my brim piece. And you're going to use some also to wrap the top. So I'm actually just going to wrap it around to see how much we need. This is, of course, going to vary depending on what size bottle you use, how tall your the neck of your bottle is. Okay, so I think that's enough. And you're just going to cut it off. And you're going to want to use hot glue for this. Hopefully your glue gun is nice and heated up. And you're going to put some glue on the edge here. Be careful, of course, because this is very hot. The other way you can do his hat is if you happen to have twine, you can just wrap his hat in twine, but I just think this looks a little nicer. Um, so I'm using the burlap ribbon. It all depends upon what kind of look you want. Just make sure you get enough glue on the edge here to hold it together nice. And now we're gonna just glue the top over.
again, just be very careful when you do this because it is very hot. Okay, so there's the top of his hat. And now we're gonna take the brim and we're gonna glue that on. You wanna glue it at the bottom but also onto the bottle a little bit. Just bring it around. And we do have a little bit more than we need, so I'm just gonna cut some off. You wanna just make sure that they, they do meet in the back and that you also have enough to glue down. definitely easier with wired burlap um, to do this. You can shape it. Now we can turn up the brim of his hat a little bit. And now you're going to measure your ribbon. gonna go around the base and you're gonna glue that on as well And this is going to pull the bottom of the hat together and it's just going to finish it off so you can't see where the brim and the top meet. And like I said, you can make as small or as large a brim as you want here. Um, you can take a piece of burlap that's not ribbon um, and cut a much larger piece if you'd like. And now, if you have a flower that you want to use, or 
maybe something else. It doesn't have to be a flower, but um, I have this cute little one here I was thinking of using. Is a little bit large. So you would put it up top here like this. If I can find a smaller one, I'm gonna, I'll put that on instead. Um, you're also gonna need your paint now because we have to paint his eyes, nose, and mouth. So you need orange paint and black paint. And just make sure you are painting the front of your glass. <laughs> I'm just going to freehand mine. If you don't want to, you can um, use a stencil if you have. Or if you have stickers and you want to use stickers instead, that's also fine. You just have to make two triangles for his eyes. Just make sure they're roughly the same size. We are going to add details in white to his eyes later, so he won't look so scary. But we just have to wait for the black to dry. Um, I'm going to take my orange now and give him a nose. And however you want to do the face is completely up to you. You don't, you do not have to do it how I'm doing it. Now I'm going to go back to the black and we're going to give him a little mouth here. So I'm going to let this dry and I'm going to give it a second coat of paint and then I will show you guys how to finish off the details. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so we are back with our dry bottle. Um, it did take two coats for me, for the, the black and the orange. and. I did just put a, a thin black line around his nose to make it pop a little. So now we are ready for our white. Just again, make sure you're, you're fully dried here. We're just going to add a little bit of detail to his eyes. You want to get a precision brush to do it, just very thin. Um, or if you want, you could also try a paint pen. If you have that instead of paint or you think that's a little easier for you. Okay. 
and we're just gonna put a little like highlight at the bottom of his eyes just a little something and then a little dot near the top there we go looks cute so now you are all done with your paint like I said you can decorate him any way you want if you want to do his face a little bit differently different colors, whatever you'd like to do. And we're just waiting for our glue gun to heat up again, and then we're gonna glue his little, little flower on here. Definitely make sure you get enough glue on there that it's gonna stick really nice. Don't want it to fall off. I'm going to add just a little bit more glue back here. And there you have it. There's our little scarecrow. I hope you've all enjoyed this craft. And if you make one, as always, send us a picture and show us how it came out. And I will see you all in our next video.